All right, and we are live. We have Bardownski and Joel Guron versus Beamer, and I ate my Wheaties, um, which is Kseb. So, and we're here. At the, they chose the hotel map. So interesting map choice. They are pushing straight into Kseb here at B site. We'll see if they has yeah. a good spot here. You might be able to get a kick on Bardownski. One kill. Can you get the second? Oh, he gets a bow! He does get him both, so he comes out big for the team right there. Huge dub. Let's get this tweeted out real quick. Hold on one second. Good positioning and movement here from 8 My Wheaties. Uh, we'll see how this game's going to go, but that was a very strong first game from... <coughs> what team is this? Um. Okay, so we have in and out which is the two guys from California. Uh, so we got Hudson and Slinky, which is Hudson and Joel. Okay. Or Bardowski and yeah, Hudson and Joel and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bardowski is Hudson. Slinky is Joel. <laughs> so we're gonna see we got team best over here. They're gonna be pushing a site. And will Hudson see him or will well yeah. they find Hudson first. Hudson does get brought down to half health, but he's able to hide for the moment, letting his teammate know. And we're gonna see what kind of play Joel can make from the rotation. Yeah, Joel has a good angle here. Maybe he gets a pick of the bomb. Oh, beautiful kill here. A yeah, good first kill. He potentially saw a bomb down, but they're gonna grab it. Yeah, so Beamer's gonna have the bomb. He can really make a play with this now too. But Joel's coming up the backside. Does that's, Beamer that's know? Off. Let's see if he can make a play. Yeah, so he's not gonna take it back to middle. So they're gonna avoid each other for the time being. Joel's in a really good spot for this. Beamer has no idea. Yep, and he's gonna Joel, get the pick up. Beautiful. Two kills this round. Really good round here from uh, In and Out, which so far seems to be Team Joel. We'll see how it goes throughout. If uh, Hudson here can start picking it up. Well, I think that's kind of what we expected, though, isn't it? I mean, I think that when we saw this team on paper, we we're like, yeah, that's going to be Joel and friends. See how much Joel can do. Joel's one of the best people in this tournament. Um, yeah. We'll so. see how it goes as we keep going here, but uh, hopefully Bardowski doesn't drop a goose egg. Yeah, we'll step over to Joel. We know Joel's capable of massive plays, um, but you know, Bar anything Bardowski can do to help out would be huge. Going for the early mid control. Beamer's right here around the corner, but will he Beamer see him? definitely hears him. Oh, and Joel gets the slide kill. And they said movement is not good in this Call of Duty. So K-Sub's going to have to make the rotation and make a huge play. Bomb's going down He's right now. Flank. Gets Barnett, he's 1v1 with Joel. He's getting bomb. Oh, and Joel oh. picks up the kill right before the nade went off. It, it would have gone and off a second Joel earlier. Again, with the assist <laughs> from Bardownski, you know, yeah. being the distraction that he is, that was that was kind of decent. Joel's on a four kill streak right now. We need to hop on board with him because he might be close to getting streaks. Yeah, I think we definitely need to keep Ryan Joel here. He is popping off. Goose egg for Bardownski's skill. Just got to remind you guys all of that. Yep. <laughs> and where is Beamer in all of this? Yeah, we need Beamer to, you know, pick Beamer it up a little bit as well. Beamer himself. Uh, Beamer had a lot of talk beforehand saying he's the best and uh, he's going to stomp this, and I, I don't see anything from him. Yeah, not yet. We definitely had some some smack talk in the lobby going on. They're going to be looking at a hard B push. Can Slinky Joel do anything to stop it? He needs it for his streaks. He's coming up on the flank right now, but he doesn't have Dead Silence. Or no, he's got Dead Silence popped at the moment. And there it is, they so Dead Silence is gone. where he is. Got a great flank. I don't think Joel knows that they're here either, though, because Bardowski has not reacted. He definitely hears them. He definitely hears them. Oh, wow. Joel great reaction. his shots. Now it's he actually a really... Beam yep. To actually get behind cover, though. Can Kaseb... done. It's okay, though. Yeah, Kaseb's trying to get the bomb down right now. Bardowski isn't aware the bomb's going down, but he's in a good spot to make a play. He pops a dead silence. Here. He's only able to hit fire because he's calling in the dead silence at the very moment. And now Joel has to make a 1v2. His streaks are on the line too, though. Would he choose to play his streaks or is he going to try to win the round? Shots coming in. He gets the Joel, first kill. Beautiful headshots. He knows where he is. Let's see if he can get the 1v2. He doesn't know where he's at. Oh, he's going to oh, go for no. the defuse. He's going to get peeked on, maybe. He's going for the sneak. He's going to peek it. Oh. It's over. He can't get the defuse. 
but he can't get the streaks and he dies off the streaks so the streaks are no. gone so two two beamer still doesn't have a kill hudson still doesn't have a kill this is really joel versus kseb at the moment yeah this is the kseb versus joel and then the two goose eggs just kind of sitting around being distractions <laughs> In Beamer's defense, he does have 278 damage, so he is putting a little bit of pressure out. That's true. You know what? We'll give him. We'll give him that. We'll we'll give him a little bit here. We'll see if they can pick it up. Maybe they're just starting off slow. It is first game. Maybe second game. You know he'll pick up. Maybe the rest of this game. We'll see. It's still two to two, very even. We're on board here with Joel. Let's see if he can have another pop off. He needs it. He really does. Still 2 2. I'm sure Joel feels like this isn't where he wants to be. He's one of the best players in this tournament. Yeah, interesting enough, they are going heavy A here on red side and blue side. They're splitting up with bomb going solo to B. Let's see if uh, Joel lurking here gets some kills. Yeah, very interesting strategy they got here. So, bomb, like, we see this action happening at A right now. Um, Team Best has no clues this is happening, but a plant is going down at B. So now they're going to be completely off guard. Only thing is, if Bardowski were to die at this very moment, there could it be a diffuse. Be they know Joel yeah. across the map, so they could just quick diffuse and hold an angle. And oh, but just... huge play from Hudson. Our advantage on blue side here. Let's see yep. if they can get it. And they so did. that round was all Hudson. I mean, it was a great strategy for the team. Baiting them out towards A site. Hudson takes the bomb to B, puts it down, and clutches up with the 1v2 in yeah, the I'll kitchen. Be honest, putting that on Hudson to clutch iffy with the goose egg but you know what he ends up getting the kill and clutching up so huge play from hudson really to get this win and really speaks to uh the round too it, it joel is he's always been known in zoom racing league community as being one of the greatest teammates not not only in call of duty but also in our racing league and i think that the faith he had in his teammate there really showed they're gonna look like they're pushing a early they're gonna Perhaps some early engagement right here. Can he pick up the double kill in the round early? Great nade the to cover the push. smoke goes down. And Beamer's going to have to make a big play now. Beamer and he gets the Joel. It's a he good time to get it, too. One. Beamer versus Bardowski. <gasps> Andy, the th Kobe <laughs> nade from across from Bardowski. What a play. Oh, wow. 4 2 now. Can't say I expected this. But sometimes wow. luck falls your way. So Bardowski now has picked up three kills. He's on a three kill streak, actually. He is killing it. What a and beautiful he, play from him. He also got the bomb plant, too. So if he's got score streaks enabled, he actually might be close to streaks. Um, yeah, he's the closest to streaks of anyone, I suppose. We'll keep an eye on that. He does have dead silence as well. Um, he is the only one with dead silence. Let's see if he goes for a dead silence play on defense or if he's going to save it. Commanding 4-2 lead in the first game. Yep. Joel's got the sniper. Can we see any sniper action? Nade comes in from K-Sub. Doesn't see him. Doesn't see him. He's going to get cross-fired, and Ooh. he goes down. But gets a trade. What a beautiful trade kill. Oh, no. Hudson's being followed. I don't think he knows it. Huge kill. Hudson. The play. What a huge play from Hudson. <laughs> he's on a five-kill streak. We, were, we started talking crap about him, and now he's on a five-kill streak. That is crazy. He was goose egg to five kill streak. What a baller. Beamer talking all that shit before in the lobby. And now <laughs> Bardowski here is just going nuts about it. He we says, are to I'm match point. You... Yeah, he says, I'm going to trash talk with my play. I'm not going to give any any other shits. I'm just going to shit on you guys, and you're going to go down. Up five to two, match point. Let's just see how this goes. Might want to go on Bardowski here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's got the streaks about to come in. He's got Dead Silence ready to go, too. He didn't even need it last round. He's going to head to B-Site. And Team Best, they are going for B-Site. This is going to be action-packed round. What kind of play can Hudson make on defense? Chooses not to open the door. He's not going to really know if they're there, but he's going to listen for the footsteps. He definitely hears that. He knows they're in here. Yep, and Joel's rotating over there where that they're where that they're going to be. Bomb's going down right now. Will Hudson open the door and stop it? Hudson playing it very slow. Gets the he picks kick. up the kill. They and he has streaks. There. And that's it. That will that's do it. it. Wow. So Bardowski coming in huge. Leading the team in kills. Seven and three. Two first bloods. Oh, and uh, we get the crouch up and down teabag coming out of Joel. Oh, man. This is going to be heated. And Bardowski teabagging the air. <laughs> <laughs> People in chat saying that it's weird. 
There's a team using dark ass esports skins. Oh. Hey, it is what it is, man. <laughs> they like the LA thieves. Yeah, it is what it is. Pretty commanding lead, six two. That they really, really just dumpstered on the team the best. That doesn't sound like the best should be their name anymore. Yeah, maybe the worst. Actually. <laughs> so we're gonna take an intermission real quick and we'll be back shortly for the second map. All right, so we are back live. We had a change of map. They wanted to go to, I don't know how you say this map, LSCO, SEO? El Casio. Yeah, I don't know. But um, the house map, I guess. I don't know. The what they were calling it. The map with the B side and the shack thing. That's what yeah. uh, Bardowski called it. Yeah. <laughs> so In and Out does have the bomb to start their own offense. Um, see what kind of play they can make. Looks like Joel's pulled out the sniper. He's got a pistol. That's the only downside about having a sniper. But Hudson's going to push up early with the submachine gun, and they know that this B push is coming. You can already see Beamer started to rotate and make the reaction, but Joel's got the sniper. He sees k over there. Oh, the grenade comes in. Doesn't get a hit marker. We wow, and they literally just walked exactly right. where Bardowski is, so he's just kind of waiting for him here. Oh, and yep, Beamer and Hudson. doesn't have the information, so he doesn't know. Yep. So now it's a 2v1. They're still on offense. Still got to get the bomb down. k picks up the kill. Now it's a 1v1, Kseb versus Joel. I don't know if he saw Bomb down there, so he doesn't really know what to do here. He's just kind of looking for Joel. Oh! And they make contact! He no, he cannot. Joel's going to reset here. Let's see what he does. And Joel's only got a sniper, too, so he can't really do a whole lot. Plus, the Bomb is down. He's got 25 seconds. And I think uh, Weedy's just walked over the bomb as well. He's not yeah, going to... Joel rushes to the bomb here. He might be able to get a plant, but that's his only option. Really is. He's going to pop his dead silence and try to make a hero he play, but he's got 13 he seconds. Time. He doesn't have time. Yeah, and they're too far away on the map. That's going to be it. He's going to go for the kill. He's going to go for it anyway. He doesn't have time, though. <laughs> That'll be the end of the round. So early round goes to the defensive side of the team, the best. They need that round, too, because they are down a map. The best trying to prove it wrong that they shouldn't change their name to Team Worse. So let's see if they can get this round here and turn this into a tie. Or to get this match here. I have a feeling that uh, Team The Best could make this win. I, I'm going to put my money on them this round. I think this is going to be a tie overall. You know, they've been scrimmaging some teams earlier, and um, in those scrimmages, they looked really strong. I don't think that we got the full performance that we expected from them last game. Um, seeing some early shots fired. Oh, from the top, room to room. Doesn't, not able to pick up any kills off the rip, He's but everyone's still He's alive. going for the plant here. I wonder what his plan is. Okay, going for Bomb's the Bomb's going down. Let's Listen, see how Bardowski reacts. Looking for him. He finds Wheaties for the kill. Beam in a 1v2, but he's got bombed down. They know he's somewhere in the room, though, because he got the plan off. <laughs> and Beamer's in a really bad they spot right now. He's behind the couch. They suspect it. <sighs> he's oh. going for the ninja defuse. Can he get it? Oh. Beamer gets the kill. Oh, oh but he doesn't get the second. So close. Beamer almost with a huge clutch, but doesn't get it in the end. Joel with the actual clutch and gets the defuse. Yep, so he also was able to pick up Dead Silence. He didn't have to use it that round. He's going to be able to come out strong next round. And uh, we'll, we'll stay on board with Joel and off and see what kind of play he makes with Dead Silence. The double pistol's not quite good enough from that range. Close, though. And the Colts have lost 54-19, to 19, so... <laughs> the Colts suck. <laughs> It's I love okay. getting the alerts Bears, to my the phone. The Bears lost to the Packers, so you know what? We're in the same boat. <laughs> so we'll have a word with Joel. He's got the dead silence. Let's see what kind of play he makes. He has the knife oh, out right now. Early. I don't, he's going to waste almost half the time on it here. Let's see what he can this do. This has to be a hard rush from Joel. Throws the nade. They know where he's at now. I, I'm not sure what his plan is, but they don't know he's underneath, so this could actually be a big play. His dead silence is about to run out. They're going to know if he doesn't gonna crouch. Big, big flank. This is working out well for him. Let's see if he can make a play out of it. He can get both here. He gets one. Oh. He can't get the second, but he's weak. Beamer's running around. That would have been an absolutely he huge play. He's over this way in the stairs. He sees him. 
Oh, oh. Beaver wins the 1v1, though. <laughs> Bomb is down, though. Let's see if Rodansi can get the clutch. Oh, and he does. He picks it up. So oh, it is 2-1 to one in favor of Team in and out now. And, uh, yeah, that was a beautiful play to get things going for Joel. Get that early first blood and get the bomb down. And it really kind of set the tone of the round. Ooh, COD timing at its worst here, but great positioning from Bardowski. Yeah, Team in and out uh, coming back here strong. I think uh, they could make me prove myself wrong. I put my money on Team the best. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So, back on offense. Let's see. We have Team the best. And what kind of play are they going to make with the bomb? Looks like they're going maybe for an early push? mid push. Yeah. I feel like this map may be more A sided. K said pops his dead silence here. Let's see what he does with it. He's pushing with Beamer. I don't know if that's you're not being real sneaky if you hear the footsteps. Oh, but Joel sees him from the back. Beautiful positioning from Joel. Gets the pick. Bardowski's. Oh, and Bardowski's wow. able to pick up the kill. And it's quick and swift there, right at the end. Those three one. We've seen what they can do when they get a lead. This could get out of hand if it's not uh, slowed down early. But we'll give we'll give out we'll give the best uh, a benefit of the doubt because they were on offense that time. This time they have to. This is a must win round because if not, it's going to be four one, and you got to win offense, and that's not easy. So huge round coming up for the best. But right now we have Slinky four and one. Let's hop on board with him. See what kind of play he can make. He does have dead silence. Looks like they're making a push to B side or to far left side. And Team Best has no yeah, preparation no for it. They're going opposite sides here. I wonder how this is going to turn out. They could hit a huge flank here and maybe meet into K Seb. We'll see. Or Beamer, actually. Well, I don't know. They got a huge flank, but they have I no love idea. this play. They're going to get shot in the back potentially. I love the play. It's great teamwork. Now they've got a full flank. Team Best is still, they're looking at the other side of the map. Look at this guy. He's looking towards A. Uh, Wheaties still looking. He's looking at his own staircase. Bomb's going down at B. They're playing your spawn, and you don't even know it. So Joel's in a great position. I'm sure they have no oh, clues he's there. Up his position potential with the nade. And Bardowski will be the first to check the bomb. So let's Can watch. See it? For a little Can rotation. See it? Oh, he, he does that. Kill. Beamer trying to stick it. That was really ballsy of him. And Joel knows exactly where Kesab is. He's got the is, high though. ground. Maybe he makes the play here. He goes in instead for the defuse. Oh, oh. not going to work out for him. So they are in a really bad spot now. Man, 4-1. to one, Really, really strong performance here from in and out Definitely is. And Hudson again on top and kills. Wouldn't say I expected this, but you know what? Sometimes the, a new hero has to be made, you know? Yeah, Hudson really made me eat my words. I thought he was just going to goose egg every round, but he's really proving that he's gotten a lot better and he's here to play. Yeah, he he has. Traditional mouse and keyboard player, but uh, doing pretty good. And he's got dead silence. Let's hop on board with him. They're up 4-1. They've got the confidence. they got the momentum. They're pushing straight up mid Team the best together. Maybe, maybe copying the play of the of Team in and out from last game. Let's they see. Are, yeah, dead silence has been activated for Beamer. As well and as K-Seb. Well. They've got a good little move coming here. I like this flank. They could go for it, but they spot. Ooh. Oh, gets the first kill. Oh, and they've got a round. They get a quick win. Wow. Okay, this could be a comeback. Let's see. They did have to use their utility. They both used dead silence. They're not going to have it for next round. Well, that was a huge win in a time where they definitely needed it. Offense isn't easy to win, but another great strategy right up that left-hand side. And at some point, someone's going to have to try to stop it. Yeah, it seems like flanking is really the name of this game here. Ever, you know, flanking just creates a lot of openings here and uh, throws the other team off. Yeah, and they, we're really starting to see the teams work together now. I don't think we saw it so much in map one, but uh, the second map, the teamwork is really starting to come alive. In and out I on offense gives Bardowski the bomb. Uh, both have dead silence, and they're looking like they're going for the same exact play. Yep. Yeah, I expect team the best to just expect the flank here, and I think they do. I think they're going to pull back a little bit and just wait for yep. it. Yep. Oh, Beamer's right here. Is he going to see him? They're bo oh, they just passed right by him. k with a headshot kill. Beautiful <gasps> kill. Like, he's huge kill. You got a pinch on him, and he gets it. k with a double kill. Beautiful round from k -Seb. Oh, my gosh. So we're back to 4-3. Oh, my They've really, you know, they put themselves in a terrible situation, but they brought it back. Yeah, it was really smart play there to have k sit back and wait for the flank, and it worked out beautifully. They just, you know, 
Beamer ended up finding out where they were at, and they got the crossfire going in the end. Yeah, they were prepared and ready for that push. And uh, now they've got an offense where they really got to, you know, this is the time where they can even it out. Ooh, it feels like Team the Best has another big plan here. Maybe they got an offensive plan. They're going to switch it up. Well, neither one of them have dead silence this time, so I'm not sure what they're going to do. Probably s looks like they're going to slow play mid a little bit. ASAP's getting a little aggressive on the bottom side. But Beamer's going to be looking across top, as well as Bardowski. Are they going to make yeah, contact with each other? Yeah, they're split up here. They're just kinda, I think they're going to wait for a plant. They're playing really slow on A and then holding B hard. So Bob's I think going they down. just go for an A plant here. It's going down, yep. So what will Team in and out do to recover? Joel wasn't ready. He's all the way outside. Hudson's getting some shots down. He's Joel's... holding a grenade. Almost died doing Bidansky, it. But Joel's going for a flank. Looks like Kaseb's maybe ready for it. He's on the roof, though. Joel needs to 1v2 clutch this to bring I it back. I think hurt him. He's going for the Dead Silence push. Oh, and he... Oh, Beamer <laughs> gets the double kill. So we are back to 4-4. Could this be the second match of the tournament that ends in a tie? Is there a chance wow. that, that uh, the best comes back and wins this? I think, I think my original thought of the best winning is maybe true. They're making a huge comeback, and they were doing really bad in the beginning, but I think they've got their groove. They know how they want to play things. They really have the momentum right now, and that's what you need in this game. They've got the momentum. They've got the confidence. The... So, yeah, the momentum of the game has definitely shifted. It is no oh, longer yeah. in favor of in and out And now they're on offense, too. I'd say they're on their back foot at this point. 4-4. Four, four. Let's see what kind of move they can make. Neither one of them have dead silence, either. Joel looking to make an early play up mid. He stunned him, so he knows where he's at. He throws the grenade. Not going to be able to kill Beamer. Oh, <gasps> Bardown's just Joel... the first shot, but he misses. Right. He chokes. And looks yeah, like Kaseb gets the kill. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, another round coming from the best. They are <laughs> really, really putting the pressure on Team in and out Team in and out is just choking at the moment. Up 4-1, to one, now 4-5. to five. Match point. Yeah, this is a definition of choke, if you ask me. They were up 4-1, to one, and uh, yeah, you see what's happened. It, we really need the team, leader of the team, Joel Guron, or Slinky, to really get going. And this, this is it right here. They're on defense. Yeah, they got to um, pull something out here. Do they have, what utility do they have? Doesn't seem like they have Dead Silence. Nope. Uh, looks like he died with Dead Bardowski Silence. He almost has. He's going to have it closer towards this round. So it looks like they're going for a beat push on the outskirts. Unlucky for Hudson. He went for a quick A. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> B isn't even being watched. Are they stacking A, trying to get the prediction, but they don't get it correct? Yeah, and this is going to be really bad for them. They're going to have to retake site. Bomb's going to be down going down right now and they still haven't reacted at all okay so i'm going to a really good spot here let's see if he can get position quick here he's not in position yet to see anybody oh, oh Beamer with the and Beamer sees hudson they don't know where joel is though he they think he might be going for defuse they might see him right here oh they see him Joel chokes the kill. Oh, and that's the shot. game. That's, oh, that's so impressive for Joel. But great win coming out of the best, proving us wrong, <laughs> making my prediction correct. Huge comeback from the best. That was honestly a great game to watch. It really was. They came back down 4-1. Um, so it's another tie. Our first two games of this tournament in a tie. Yeah, great kill here from, from Kaseb, too. He got kind of almost turned on him a little bit because Joel did have the first shot there. So a bit of a choke from Joel, but... All right, well, great, good game. game. Good yeah. tie from the both teams. So, yep, we are, uh, we're, I guess we're calling it quits for the night, and we'll be back tomorrow with some more action. So thanks for tuning in, guys.